How's it going everyone? Sean here from Raw Technique Studios. We're about to jump into episode 13 of Raw Fix My Mix. Now, if you ever need extra help outside of these YouTube videos and it goes way more in detail, check out hiphopaudioschool.com. I'll put that link down in the description if you want to take your mixing, recording, mastering, all of that to the next level, then that course includes everything. So hiphopaudioschool.com or click the link down below. All right, so now let's jump into Raw Fix My Mix, episode 13. My artist name is Tosa. I'm also a producer as well. So my producer name is Tommy Stokes Productions. The recording process was in like a six by six room. I had a pop filter, but I didn't have the vocal booth. I wasn't in mm -hmm. a vocal booth. It was a nice little room with furniture in it, so it wasn't too mm -hmm. bad. I guess on my end, mm -hmm. maybe on your end it was, the way <laughs> I, you had to remix or whatever. Like, as soon as you buy FL Studio, it comes with this pre-made beat and mm -hmm. vocals laid to it. I used the preset of the vocal template off the FL Studio and you and tweaked it to my advantage. Mm, and I that's see. how I made this song. Oh, okay. But, but the mic I'm using is a Shure KSM 27. Okay. I'm I was using two M Audio BX eight eights. But you know, I blew the other one out, so I'm using JBL right now. Uh Avid. Okay. And you just use the stock preamps inside of that Avid interface, right? Is that I'm gonna show your version and then I'll show my version just so they could hear what <laughs> I heard and what I wanted to change for it. And it's gonna come down gotcha. to a preference thing because like for me, I tend to like vocals more like thick sounding and a me little too. bit forward yeah so like some people prefer like thinner vocals and pushed back it just really honestly it depends on the song sometimes that does sound better but i tend to like that more upfront thick vocal so having that in mind that's why i mix how i do i gain matched it as close as i could just like a quick listen so i turned mm -hmm. yours up 4.7 db so you could hear a little bit more even back and forth Orange is going to be your original mix, and then the blue will be my mix. So let's start with yours, and then we'll flip it back and forth a couple times so people could hear it. Gotcha. I might lay his ass on the floor. These niggas be in their feelings like hoes. When I shoot my shot, niggas go fall. Found his ass, start dropping roll. I ain't got time, I'm letting shit go. You ain't my kind, I'm letting you know. Fool my kind, I'm letting it blow. Got blood on my mind, but niggas don't know. Hey, check me out. Hey, ain't leaving my house unless I got posts. Talk to my guy before I hit the door. Niggas so slime, they'll get your ass froze. Tell me one time and you gotta go. I ain't ripping shit by him with the foes. Damn, I took cause I gotta hit goals. Keep me one lick cause I gotta get blow. Took me a real. Okay, so. I think they both sound cool. It's just different approaches to it. Um, of course, mm -hmm. I always prefer my own mix because that's the the sound I go for. But uh, exactly, yeah. So let's go ahead and just break it down now that we know what I first heard and what I was trying to uh, improve on. So as far as the beat goes, I did a couple things. Uh, we can start with that. Uh, the way I tend to work is I'll either I'll do one of two things. I'll either start with the drums and build those up and then introduce the vocals and then the rest of the music, or I'll do vocals and then drums and then the rest of the music. So it just depends on whatever I feel like doing at the time. Uh, let's listen to the vocals first and then we'll build the drums around it. So this is what I started with. I'll take everything off except the limiter and this trim plug in here. Uh, so we still hear the loudness, but uh, not all the effects. So here's just the de -esser. I might lay his ass on the floor, these niggas be in there feeling like hoes When I shoot my shot, niggas gon' fold, found his ass, start dropping roll I ain't got time, I'm letting shit go You ain't my kind, I'm letting you know Fold with my kind, I'm letting it blow Alright, so it does do some like heavy lifting there You can see it's pulling down quite a bit at times So, uh, that's fine because I do tend to add a little bit more uh, later on whether it's in the mastering stage or in the mixing stage uh, But I do really want to tame any type of sibilance coming through there and then onto the EQ just trying to clean it up So here it is without the EQ and then as it plays I'll turn it on I Gosh. might lay his ass on the floor, these niggas be in there feeling like hoes When I shoot my shot, niggas gon' fold, found his ass, start dropping roll I ain't got time, I'm letting shit go, yeah. he ain't my kind All right, so not only am I cleaning it up on the bottom a bit and in the mids But I'm also doing more of that reduction on that sibilance there So this is dynamic EQ up here, just pulling it down where those S's come through So it's not static, all these are static, but this one's not 
I might lay his ass on the floor. These niggas be in their feelings like hoes. When I shoot my shot, niggas gon' fold. Found his ass, start dropping roll. I ain't got time, I'm letting shit go. Alright, so it just cleans it up a bit. Uh, and then into the compressor. So, a fairly fast attack on here, about a medium release, 3 to 1 ratio, uh, pretty standard, and then just pull it down. Uh, I put 3 a dB on the gain, so let's see how much we're getting on the reduction. I might lay his ass on the floor, these niggas be in their feelings like hoes. When I shoot my shot, niggas gon' fold. Found his ass, start dropping roll. I ain't got time, I'm letting shit go. You ain't my kind, I'm letting you know. Fold with my kind. Alright, so just controlling the dynamics. I'm pretty much making up what I took out, that's all it really is. Uh, next thing is some more EQ. These are just some problem frequencies that I thought were in there. Again, with the sibilance, just really, really trying to attack that. There's a little bit of buildup right here at 100 hertz, so that's also dipping just when those words come in. And then these are static, so it's, uh, I thought at 429 hertz was just like something that was bothering me. So before and then I'll turn it on. <laughs> I might lay his ass on the floor, these niggas be in their feelings like hoes When I shoot my shot, niggas gon' fold Found his ass, start dropping roll I ain't got time, I'm letting shit go You ain't my kind, I'm letting you know Alright, so I just like step by step Try to get cleaner and cleaner and cleaner sounding So if I yeah, still shit. hear problems Then I keep working on it Once I, all the problems that I heard go away Then that's when I know I'm done So yes, sir Again, I might lay his ass on the floor. These niggas be in their feelings like hoes. When I shoot my shot, niggas gon' fold. Found his ass, start dropping roll. I ain't got time, I'm letting shit go. You ain't my kind, I'm letting you know. Fold. All right, so taking a little bit of that shine off the top and also sibilance still. It's not as bad as that first yeser. Like the first one was getting way down here. Now it's getting closer to the like minus six. Uh, so we are taming it quite a bit now. This one, just for a little bit of like. A console sound so it's like the emulation of a console putting a little bit of drive on it and uh, I go with this one here the mic setup here so here it is before and after I might lay his ass on the floor, these niggas be in their feelings like hoes When I shoot my shot, niggas gon' fold Found his ass, start dropping roll I ain't got time, I'm letting shit go You ain't my kind, I'm letting you know Fold with my kind, I'm letting it blow Not a big difference, but just to show you what it's doing I'll really exaggerate the drive I might lay his ass on the floor, these niggas be in their feelings like hoes When I shoot my shot, niggas gon' fold Found his ass, start dropping roll I ain't got time, I'm letting shit go So it just does something with the audio to where it like I don't know, it throws it off in a weird way that I like So that's what, I just put a little bit of that on there um, 1176, tame it a little bit more I might lay his ass on the floor, these niggas be in their feelings like hoes When I shoot my shot, niggas gon' fold Found his ass, start dropping roll I ain't got time, I'm letting shit go You ain't my kind, I'm letting you know Fold with my kind, I'm letting it blow Got blood on my mind, but niggas don't know Hey. Alright, so just, again, controlling dynamics And the last thing I did was throw on some reverb And this is just to fill in the space Because I thought this is what fit the music the best I might lay his ass on the floor, these niggas be in their feelings like hoes When I shoot my shot, niggas gon' fold Found his ass, start dropping roll I ain't got time, I'm letting shit go You ain't my kind, I'm letting you know Fold with my kind, I'm letting it blow Alright, so I'm just experimenting with stuff when I do reverb And on this one, I ended up liking the smooth plate the most uh, I almost always do an EQ cut around 6k and 700 hertz uh, Just to filter off the top and bottom And then pre-delay it just depends on how the vocals are sitting. Do I want that reverb to start right away or a little bit later? So on this one, nine milliseconds later, and uh, the mix is at 9.5. So that's it on the vocals. Then what I did was go up here on the drum section, 808. I, I work like in order. So I started up with the 808 and then went to the kick. So here's the 808 before. I might lay his ass on the floor. These niggas be in their feelings like hoes. When I shoot my shot, niggas. And then after. I might lay his ass on the floor, these niggas be in their feelings like hoes when I shoot my shot. So it's not a huge difference, but I'm adding a little bit of grit here with the saturation. And then mm -hmm. I'm also EQing it. This part I didn't really like, and there was a buzz at the top that I didn't really like, so I brought that down. I might lay his ass on the floor, these niggas be in their feelings like hoes when I shoot my shot, niggas gon' fold. Found his ass, start dropping roll. I ain't got time on that one frequency, it sounded like it was sticking out more than every other frequency on the 808. So I just wanted to dip out that one when it comes in. So dynamic EQ right there for just when that hits. And then onto the kick drum here. 
dash froze. Play me one time and you gotta go. I ain't ripping shit by a hand with the foes. Damn, I took cause I gotta hit goals. Keep me one lick cause I gotta get blow. Took me a risk, got straight out the door. Like was... Yeah, so this one, it's uh, clipping it. And it's just trying to take away a lot of the peak and just making it sound a little bit more like thuddy or like fat. And yeah, that yeah. way I don't have to hit my final limiter as hard. And then also, in addition to everything I'm doing here, I'm also on the kick, snare, and 808 bus doing smack attack to really like push the transients, but then also another clipper to like cut them off. And it seems like it's like the opposite. Like if you're gonna push them, why would you cut them off? But for some reason, it just happens to. I like how it sounds. Um, if I were to just clip it again, then I feel like it sounds too small. And if I just do the smack attack, then it has all the transients again. So. I, I just like how it sounds pushing them together. So here's without those. Dash froze, put me one time and you gotta go. I ain't ripping shit by hand with the foes. Damn, I took cause I gotta hit goals. Keep me one lick cause I gotta get. It just smacks so much harder when those are on there. So I'm gonna go with that. This I didn't really do For anything sure. to. These right here, let's see. EQ a little bit. Dash froze, put me one time and you gotta go. I ain't ripping shit by hand with the foes. Damn. It was like slightly harsh on the top end. So I brought it down a bit on that snare. And then, or the clap. Dash froze, put me one time and you gotta go. I ain't ripping shit by him with the foes, them. And a little bit right there on that one. And that's it. So yeah, that's cutting through. Yeah. Everything cutting through. Uh, let's throw these on because I didn't really do anything to them. So here's just drums and vocals. Dash froze, put me one time and you gotta go. I ain't ripping shit by him with the foes, them. I took cause I gotta hit goals. Keep me one lick cause I gotta get blow. Took me a risk, got straight out the door. Hard so all right, so that's the main thing like I want to yeah. vibe together is the drums and the vocal. If I could get those sounding like they're in a good like space together, then the music's just like extra add-on. Just taking that low end out of the piano. I might lay his ass on the floor, these niggas be in there feeling like hoes When I shoot my shot, niggas gon' fold Found his ass, start dropping roll I ain't got time, I'm letting shit go You ain't my kind, I'm letting you know Fold with my kind Alright, so just I don't want to take away from the drums that I think sound like I don't know, the main driving force So I'm not going to take away with uh, any low frequencies in a piano So I cut all those out Omnispheres, uh, let's see Same thing, cut out the low end So here's the before, and then I'll play the after. All right, so it goes from like right here to being like way out here. So that's something I thought sounded cool just in the background, because with everything being loud, you don't really hear it too much, but I feel like it gives it a little, a different little vibe to it. I might lay his ass on the floor, these niggas be in there feeling like hoes When I shoot my shot, niggas gon' fold And it also was like right underneath the vocal So by pushing it out, it leaves a little bit more room for the vocals Alright, last one on this section is just another cut No, hey, check me out, hey, ain't leaving my house unless I got posed Talk to my guy before I hit the door, niggas so slime, they get your ass froze Tell me one time and you gotta go, I ain't ripping shit by Just making room for the drums to sit where they were all right, and then last thing, oh, that was just the tag there. So yeah, that's everything there as far as the mix goes. And then I went into the mastering stage and I always go with this plugin right here. Uh, it just yeah. sounds good. So. No, hey, check me out. I ain't leaving my house unless I got posed. Talk to my guy before I hit the door. Niggas so slime, they get your ass froze. Put me one time and you gotta go. I ain't ripping shit by him with the foes. Damn, I took cause I gotta hit goals. Keep me one lick cause I gotta get blow. Took me a risk. Got Wider, just... Uh, it just has some compression on it, uh, distortion. It sounds good. So, uh, saturation, a little before and after. No, hey, check me out. I ain't leaving my house unless I got posed. Talk to my guy before I hit the door. Niggas so slime, they get your ass froze. Tell me one time and you gotta go. I ain't ripping shit by him with the foes. Damn, I. And I did uh, some clipping here. No, hey, check me out. I ain't leaving my house unless I got posed. Talk to my guy before I hit the door. Niggas so slime, they get your ass froze. Tell me one time and you gotta go. I ain't ripping shit by him with the foes. Damn, I took cause I gotta hit goals. Keep me one lick cause I gotta get blow. Took me a risk, got straight out the door. Hard so froze, my catch me a cold. Bitch so fine, shit, I
Just a little bit of EQ on there. Uh, give it a little boost on the top end. Attenuation at 100 hertz. That's it there. And then lastly, the limiter. No, hey, check me out. I ain't leaving my house unless I got poles. Talk to my guy before I hit the door. Niggas so slime, they get your ass froze. Flip me one time and you gotta go. I ain't ripping shit by him with the foes. Damn, I took cause I gotta hit gold. So this obviously just makes things louder. I wanted to get this one just to really hit hard, so I decided this one to not do true peak limiting, which usually I always do true peak limiting, but this one I thought it just sounded like it was just pulling it in a weird way that I didn't like how it sounded, so I didn't put it on there. I just did a, a standard a minus 0 0.3 on my output, but not the true peak itself, so it'll be competing a little bit better as far as like just other songs out there, because a lot of popular music, they don't use true peak lim limiting on there, and uh, that'll help it just sound a little yeah. bit more punchy and loud. Oh, you know what? One last thing I wanted to show people uh, was this plugin. It's called Gain Match. And it's something I just picked up recently. I did like a little giveaway. And, I've uh, seen it. Yeah. It, it's a dope plugin. So pretty much it's super basic. You start off by putting the plugin before all your plugins, and then you put a copy of it just bring it over to the end of your plugins so this one is the before this one after and mm -hmm. then i'm going to be automatically making the gain difference here so let's hear what does it sound like before the plugins and then what does it sound like after the plugins so here's before no hey check me out i ain't leaving my house unless i got posed talk to my guy before i hit the door niggas so slime there get your ass froze Tell me one time and you gotta go I ain't ripping shit by him with the foes stand my two because i gotta hit goals all right, so obviously that sounds better because it has reverb on it. So let's take the reverb off and give it a fair comparison. So here's before and then after. No, hey, check me out. I ain't leaving my house unless I got pose. Talk to my guy before I hit the door. Niggas so slime, they get your ass froze. Threw me one time and you got to go. I ain't ripping shit by him with the foes. Stay on my two because I got to hit goals. Keep me one lick because I got to get blow. Took me a risk, got straight out the door. Heart so froze, my catch me a cold. Bitch so fine, shit, I want to know. All right, so the main thing I hear is the muddiness on the low end get cleaned up mm -hmm. and then have a little bit of shine on the top end, but not be sibilant and harsh. So mm -hmm. uh, as long as you made progress from before and after in your plugin chain, then you know you did something right. So I think this is a great plugin and super cheap. So if anybody watching wants to check it out, uh, just look for a gain match. I picked it up. Uh, I think around Christmas time because a buddy told me about it. So I picked it up and I was like, I love this plugin so much that I bought 14 copies of it and then gave them away. Yeah. yeah so I was like, all right, <laughs> highly recommend it. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you guys for watching that. Uh, again, hiphopaudioschool.com. If you want to take your mixing, recording, setting up a home studio, everything that's involved with being an artist and getting your music out there, it's all in this course. Plus, there's a bunch of other add-ons that I have with the course, private Facebook group and much more. So check out hiphopaudioschool.com. And if you like the artist that was featured in this video, click on his links down below in the description to check him out as well. All right. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.